What's that smell? Novotel. Well, thank you, Chuck. Thank you so much. And Orange Crush. Hey. Remember Jack. And a yeah. There you go. Hi there. Um, I worked out here for four years uh, prior to them firing me. Um, Yay! Um, I, was, I was a pretty good cook. I, mean, I didn't have any disciplinary uh, actions against me. Um, and uh, one day I spoke up for the union. And uh, next thing I knew, all these things were happening. And uh, eventually, uh, within a very short period of time, they fired me. Um, now, in the two years that's passed, um, there have been other workers that have also been fired here. Um, a couple of people in housekeeping and uh, through other, other areas of the hotel. Um, I guess we stand here because uh, we're, we're, we're here to stand up for the other workers in the hotel who are being disciplined at this very moment. Um, and uh, we're here in solidarity. Um, we know that uh, if, we, if we keep on fighting, um, the union will happen in this hotel. Um, and, uh, and, and we're stronger than they are. So, thank you for coming out. And if Novotel doesn't come and start to respect the rights of these workers to join a union, we're going to be talking to our European counterparts about a boycott of Novotel around the world. Everybody knows him, the uh, NDP MP for, uh, for Ottawa Centre and a candidate uh, for leader of the Union Democratic Party, Paul Doerr. Paul. Yeah. ici uh, pour uh, appuyer notre uh, soeur et frère et, et, et pour les travailleurs et travailleuses de cette place. We are here to support the workers here in this place. And it's a basic cause. And that is the right to organize so that you can have fair conditions in your workplace. Hey, you know, when we think about what our country is about, it's about democratic action. One of the most fundamental democratic pieces of our country is the right to organize. Absolutely. I have talked to people here. These are men and women, and mostly women, who are vulnerable. And they want to have what most of us take for granted. And that is a voice, and that is the ability to be heard and to be treated with respect and fairness. So today, we're here to raise our voices and it is, as was said, it's an act of solidarity. That every worker should have the right to organize. And right now, there is an attack against organized labor. And it's an attack coming from Parliament Hill. But it's being felt on the ground in places like Novotel and in other workplaces around this country. So, what we're here today to say is we are standing with the men and women of Novotel, but other people who are fighting for the basic rights to join a union, to have a better life, and to make sure that our country is truly strong and is free. Thank you very much, Ms. Yeah, you, you, you may have just heard from the next Prime Minister of Canada. Yeah! to represent the steel workers in the District 6 office. Uh, we know what this struggle is all about. We're here, we're, we're here to help you guys out. We're behind you 100%. I myself was on strike with Valley Eco for a year. This company, this government, allows these companies to come in, these multinationals to come in, take over local Canadian companies and do this. We have to stand together in solidarity and fight back against these. This, this whole thing with the steel workers right now, our slogan right now is to stand up and fight back. We're here to help you guys out. We're here and we're, we'll be here for the long haul. Thank you. Right on.